Hey guys, besitos to you. It's Liza Perez, Lee Consultants, a team sent into dollars. And it's bring back my bar time. I know it's like January 20th. It's inauguration day. I'm sorry for posting this so late. But if you know me personally, you know there's been a lot going on in my family. My daughter Mia has been in the hospital for over a month. And um, I just kind of needed a break from that. So I have to do something for my Scentsy business. This is how I kind of de-stress by working. <laughs> Little did I know. It wasn't like that until I found Scentsy. But anyway, I wanted to share the fragrances with you. And I wanted to um, kind of go over all the smells and describe them to you the best I can. Um, bring back my bar if you're new to Scentsy or if you've never heard of Scentsy. Or you know what? If you're... If you're an old customer, this is something you definitely want to hear because um, as you may or may not know, Scentsy has two seasons in the catalog and they tend to retire some scents for that catalog. Uh, for example, fall, winter is coming to an end and March 1st will be the beginning of the new spring, summer catalog. So all the holiday smells, all the fall smells like cashmere pear and cedar mill, all those smells are going to go away and um, they may or may not return for the next catalog season for the next catalog season uh, but a lot of our favorites will be returning uh, for the spring summer along with some new scents so since he always keeps it exciting in that way now bring back my bar is um, voted in by popular demand 20 cents that have been retired so it gives your favorite uh, scents that may have went away a chance to come back so since he does this twice a year and it's always in January. I forget what the other month is. July possibly or something like that. Um, I guess so. But um, this year I'm so glad they gave us some flyers to get from our um, Scentsy family store. So yes, it's very late in the month. Again, my daughter's in the hospital. I'm sorry. But um, if you're a part of my mailing list, you will most more, like, uh, more than likely get this from me in the mail. Um, and um, before it's too late because <laughs> you only have until January to get these scents and you've heard me talking about them um, on my Facebook page and um, uh, I've been uh, posting the scents and the smells and, and that kind of thing so um, hopefully you've been paying attention if not please um, watch this video I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as I possibly can I was going to do a Facebook live but I felt like that was too much pressure everything going on with my daughter um, people have been asking and and um, praying and, and that kind of thing so I really appreciate it um, I just kind of didn't want no interruptions I wanted to stay focused um, and I just want to say if you are watching this um, thank you for your support I love you guys besitos to you um, but I just wanted to <laughs> focus on something because um Really, I've been wanting to do this since I got my testers. We have got a great set of Bring Back My Bar testers for this month. And again, these are only going to be available through January 31st. So if you hear something that you are slightly interested in and you live near me or I'll be downtown uh, by the hospital here in Orlando. So if... Um, if you're like Lizette, can I smell? I'll have them with me. So <laughs> don't feel bad. I have to eat. I have, you know, so I can uh, definitely grab some coffee with you and let you smell my testers. Um, but uh, again, I'm gonna smell these. They're in no particular order, but um, this uh, flyer will describe what some of the smells are. And I'm gonna tease you a little bit. Cherry almond pie, French kiss. What does that smell like? Um, I'll tell you what, it's not going to smell like bad breath. <laughs> uh, inner Peace, Grape Granada, 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 uh, Ginger Snap. So there's some Lux Vanilla. I think that's my favorite. I remember smelling that one. I did smell some of these, most of these. I probably left a few out because I just want to kind of guess what these are. So um, I'm just going to get to the smelling. So these are our testers. And um, again, these bring back my bar. They are available just as our regular scents are. Buy five, get one free. Um, the wax packs are $5 each. Our scent packs. I mean, I'm Scentsy Bars. That's what they're called. Scentsy Bars. They're $5 each. You can only get those scents in the bar. You can't get them in any of the other products that we have, like Scent Circles and um, um, Scentsy Packs or anything like that. So, let's just get to smelling. <laughs> so, this is the first one I pick up. Uh, I looked at it. What's wrong with me? Hold on. I'm not going to look at it again. Okay. So, um, this one is white in color. <sighs> I think this is inner peace. I do remember smelling this one. Oh God, inner peace. I'm gonna describe this one to you. This is what I need in my life right now. Earthy wood notes, 
with the unmistakable scent of lemon groves and rejuvenating cypress. I smell, I, you know what, that is the lemon I smell. I'm like, I, it's clean. It's kind of a clean, but it's also sweet and relaxing. And it's called Inner Peace. Oh, God. I like this one. It's a little, it's a little crisp. Earthy wood. So, it's not really outdoorsy like a cashmere or sandalwood or bark kind of smell. But I really like this one. This one is on my list. I think I might get this one. I don't know if I'm getting a three-pack or a six-pack yet. But I, I do enjoy getting some of the Bring Back Mark Bar scents. The only thing I don't like is I never get them early enough to make you samples. So, um, <laughs> and like I said, things have been crazy. This one, oh, I gotta stop looking at them. I didn't get to read them. These are really small testers compared to our bigger testers. So, our big testers, bam, you, I could read the name easy. Er. So, okay, sorry. I did it again. Okay, this one is a red one. <sighs> oh, I know this smell. Cherry Vanilla. This is Jessica's favorite. Jessica just had a Scentsy party with me. Oh, and this is Kat, my sponsor, is one of her favorites. I like this one, Cherry Vanilla. Um, it does, you know, I don't want to say it has a musky smell because it's not musk. But it has, um, man, I don't even know how to describe that. Because I smell more cherry-ish, but it's not like tart candy cherry, but there's cherry smell close to that in there. It's really hard for me to smell the vanilla. The way it kind of just lays under that cherry smell is not the typical vanilla that you know of. Like in cheap candle smells. Which, by the way, I do not use candles anymore. I, do, I cannot stand the candle scents now of hot wax burning when you leave it on a certain amount of time. And it's just kind of a hot wax smell. You get some of the scent, but it's just not. We only warm our scents. So you get a lot more fragrance versus hot candle smell in the air if you if you've never used Scentsy you probably don't even know what I'm talking about but once you use Scentsy and you try to use a candle you leave a candle on for like two hours and it's kind of just like hot smoke in the air with a smell okay this one brown in color it smells fruity I don't know what this is it's fruity what do we have I'm trying to remember what we have this is a this is a grape one, grape granita. Let's see if I'm right. No, I'm wrong. Oh, okay. But I was close because this one's sangria, sangria, and that's wine. So hello, you make wine out of grapes. So I definitely smell some grape in here. And I guess I was expecting a grape smell because of grape granita being in the list. So. Did I even, I, I already put, I'm sorry, cherry vanilla aside, I didn't even tell you what cherry vanilla has. Cherry vanilla is described by Sensi as a delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almonds. I would have never thought the almonds were in there. Folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. Really? I gotta smell it again. Cherry vanilla. This is a hit. This one came back in one of the Bring Back My Bar scents last year, and I believe it was last January. I don't know if it smells like ice cream, but that's cool. It says, again, I'm going to read it one more time. A delightful swirl of candy, cherry, and sugar almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. Okay, now I'm going to read the description for Sangria. Oh, and the cool thing about this one, I said there was 20 cents for Bring Back My Bar. Uh, Scentsy actually brought back five whole new scents that uh, Heidi and Orville, the owners of Scentsy, brought back in. Um, they chose their top five. So we actually have 25 new scents um, for January, which is really cool because um, since December is all done, Christmas, the holidays is all gone, you know, a lot of our scents in the fall winter catalog are the Christmassy scents like Christmas Cottage and Cinnamon Bear and that kind of thing. So this gives us a fresh new um, uh, batch of wax to melt before we get into our spring summer season, which will get a lot of the fun, fruity and floral scents. So sangria, sangria is described as, where is it? Perfectly blended Brazilian oranges, currants, and Merlot. I like this one. I'm not sure if I get it yet. This is a maybe though. I'm going to put this aside. I definitely want to get inner peace. 
so I, I definitely think about it i like the lemony smells even though we clean with lemon smells like pine salt stuff or whatever <laughs> um i still like a hint of lemon in my stuff here and there not full blown but we'll see I right, oh i looked hold on I gotta start moving through this quickly. I looked again. What's the matter? I really want to kind of guess this with you. I guess it's not a big deal if I do. I probably do half since I can't seem to stop. Oh, this one's coming out. Now this one's yellow in color. Oh, I know what this is. You can't mistake this one. This is banana rama. And this is a fun scent for the kids' room. I might actually put this in my bathroom because in my bathroom the, the girls have a monkey theme. So hello, bananas, monkeys. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Bananarama. I was right. So, of course, Bananarama. And, and you know, that's the fun thing. When, when can you get a banana scent like that? It's actually not a disgusting banana smell. It's a really fun, sweet, perfect for kids' room. Fun, sweet smell. And Bananarama is described by Sensi as sweet, golden, ripe bananas. <laughs> it kind of smells candy-ish, so um, I can't remember any banana flavored candies except the ones that were shaped like a banana and i have no clue what those were called if you know what i'm talking about sweet golden ripe bananas can't go wrong with that right okay let's see this one is another creamy colored one. Oh gosh this one hit me hard <laughs> i guess i was expecting sweet so this is kind of like um a baked smell Baked smells are not my favorite. I do not hate them all, but they are not typically the first ones on my list. This one I could tell I probably will not get unless I have no chance of warming it. I would probably pick a time that I'm in the mood to really smell this versus any of our other smells I would probably warm anytime. I can't get what this is though. I smell like a cream. So something with cupcakes or something and I'm going to look. Oh, vanilla walnuts. I would have never guessed that. I guess it's the vanilla I smell. Vanilla walnut is described, and I can't find it. A warm fragrance with roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. I smell the vanilla bean. Okay, the vanilla bean is what was familiar to me. Okay, I probably won't get that one. So, so far, out of the five, I'm going to go with inner peace. I think that one's a fun scent. This one is white in color. Oh, I think this is another baked one. Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay, this one reminds me of the smell in the bathroom. And it's um, a hand soap that's usually in public bathrooms that I do not like. There's this smell at work. So I have to guess this is the, what's it called? Cherry almond or something? Cherry almond pie. I don't like that smell. That is not my kind of smell. I mean, it, the, the more I smell it, I, I'm like, okay, it's not horrible, but I, I don't like that smell, that hand soap. Cherry almond pie. Something about the almond sounds, smells funny to me. So, cherry almond pie. <sighs> sorry, Orville. It's described as Orville's favorite dessert. Graham crackers, sweet almond, cream, and cherries. I like almonds in my food. Don't get me wrong. I like, um... I like almonds in my cereal, like, um, honey bunches of old school almonds. Yeah, I'm down with that. But I don't know about the smell. It bothers me. Orville's favorite dessert, graham crackers, sweet almond cream, sweet almond cream, and cherries. Oh, sweet almonds is separate. Sweet almonds, cream, and cherries. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, let's smell this one. Oh, this is a brown one. This it has a manly smell. I gotta look at the names. I'm curious. Oh, I know what this could be. I smell cinnamon. Um, I'm guessing this is almond stroll. I mean, autumn stroll. And I'm right. Okay, autumn stroll is described as ample under a bright harvest moon, leaves crunching underfoot. As peppery cinnamon mingles with dusky plum and warm wood incense to create a spicy and comforting fragrance. I'm not big into the whole cinnamon smells. This one has a manly smell. I could see guys really liking this one. Almonds, autumn stroll. And I could be in the mood for this in the fall. So this one's like a maybe. I would probably 
This one's not horrible. The more I smell it, the more I can see that I can be in the mood for this one day. But it's not on my list for today. So, I don't know how many I've done, but oh. So, this one is next, and this one is orange. I don't know what this is. Um, usually you can smell coffee beans in between, but I heard if you smell your skin and just break up the smells, that will also clean your nasal passageway. So, mmm, orange color. Mmm, I kind of like this. It kind of reminds me of, um, I know we have cashmere on the list, but that's what it kind of smells like to me. Sweet sandalwood ish sandalwood. I like the smell of sandalwood. I don't know. I gotta see. I can't wait. I'm right. It's cashmere. All right. Cashmere is described, and this is on my list. Cashmere is described as sheer floral bouquet, combines Moroccan jasmine, lily of the valley, and bergamot. I really like that. Okay. So when it comes to woodsy smells, if anything, I mean, that's probably as close as I would go. Floral wood, floral woodsy. Ugh, this one. Oh, golly. Is this the coffee one? It's brown. We have a coffee scent this time. It also smells like gingerbread. So this one is ginger snap, actually. Yeah, I smelled it that time. So ginger snap. So we have a few that are that are um, kind of in the fall category. Um, that people, I guess, missed and wanted to see back. Again, the Bring Back My Bars are voted in by consultants and customers. And um, later this summer, uh, we'll vote for the January batch of Bring Back My Bar. Um, so Ginger Snap, Sensi describes as ginger and spice with butter and vanilla, just like the classic cookie. I smell all that in there. After that one, got to clean my nose, got to smell it. Smell your hand. Okay, this one is, oh, I thought it was white, yellowish. Oh, God, I know this smell too. But I can't remember. Now I'm cheating and looking at the name. I think I know the smell. But I can't name it. And I can't even figure out what's in it. Cinnamon. You know what? Cranberry bread. Mm, again, a baked one. I'm not crazy about it. Let's see what cranberry bread is described as. Oh, oh, it's one of the five that Heidi and Orville brought back. Again, that was sangria. Perfectly blended Brazilian oranges, currants, and molo. And now they also picked cranberry. Warm bread with just the right amount of spices, cranberries, and orange zest. And it's okay. I could see this if I had to warm it. But I don't. I don't know. I don't think I like this one. I can't go back to that one. I can easily leave that one out. Alright, so this one next is white. Oh, it smells. What is that? Maybe I'm not the best guesser, right? I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, it's white. I smell vanilla. I think I really like this one. It almost has a laundry smell, but not quite laundry. What is this? Okay. Lux vanilla. This is different than your regular vanilla smell. Lux vanilla. What would be Lux? Let's see how Sensi describes it. And this is a Heidi and Orville pick. I'm glad they picked this one. Okay. Soft tones of musk. What is this word? Cyclamen and jasmine you see i like jasmine in some of these scents man that's the second one with jasmine that i picked soft tones of musk cyclamen and jasmine blends with the delicate scent of vanilla and by the way lizetperez.sensi.us is my website oh gosh so if you're watching this on youtube which of course you are because that's where i'm uploading this i usually do facebook live so hi youtubers um thank you for watching lux vanilla is on my list i like this kind of smell See, you're probably like a whole cinnamon smell or a whole um, another category of um, favorite scents. You probably um, will stand in line for something like watermelon patch, right? Or um, wild black cherry. All right, let me see what's next. Watch one of those be the ones I pick. <laughs> I kind of want to look just a, Well, this is... 
this is cherryish brown so this could be wild if this is wild black cherry i think i do see no okay i smell cinnamon so i thought wild black cherry might have some that was wrong i like this one i actually had the tester the big tester to this and once it went away from our winter smells i was curious in warming this one this is one that i said that i would have to be in the mood for the kind of cinnamon smells so there's cinnamon in this one this is my home this one i do remember from last year um so there's only a couple of these that i actually know from um scentsy because i started in august of 2015 so this one my home is available in july i'm sorry in january only and my home is described as as a new name for our favorite spicy cinnamon and floral scent a must try and i did try this one probably because there's a there is a floral scent in here versus just a hard cinnamon and i like florals i do this one i would maybe think about getting that one again because i did enjoy it when i warmed it my home did smell very nice okay this one here is a green in color i don't know what this is you can see what it is probably i'm not gonna look i can't even read that it's kind of blurry i don't know if you can see it um it's green i looked at it oh god this is the one i wanted to guess too i wanted to see if i could guess this one Okay, so the one I picked and I accidentally looked at early is Huckleberry Sage. I really like the smell of this one. This is a fun, fruity kind. I didn't expect this to be green because in here, it's brown. So, Huckleberry Sage is described as like finding an unexpected winter berry patch. Tart ruby cranberries and sweet purple huckleberries dusted with silver sage. I have no idea what huckleberries smell like, but if they smell like this, it's good. <laughs> I like this one. This one's a maybe. I could see my daughter liking this one. I could be wrong, but huckleberry sage is a maybe for me. I have my definite yeses, which I think is going to be the cashmere, the luxe vanilla, and inner peace. So let's see if I'm going to make this a six pack. <laughs> See, this is the cool thing about smelling the testers. Like, contact me, especially if you live in my area. I will meet with you for some girl time coffee or whatever. Um, and you can smell my testers. And that's how you pick your scents. So this is pink. Pinkish. Oh, I know what this is. It smells like a Jolly Rancher in a way. So this is Watermelon Patch. Ding, ding, ding. I'm right. Okay, so Watermelon Patch is described. Um, where'd it go? Sweet vine ripened watermelon. Can't go wrong. This is fun. I think my daughters will like this one. I'll find out. So they may have to pick a couple of these. And I'll make it a six pack then. I did not actually get to read it. Because it was too dark. Okay, this has a cinnamon smell too. I kind of like it though. It's sweet. It reminds me of one of our other smells. Or something I know. But I can't figure out what it is. Hmm, I think I like it though. It smells familiar. I've smelled this before. This is French Kiss. What the heck does this smell like? Okay, French Kiss. Oh, I dropped a lid. Uh, lid. French Kiss is described as sweet fig. Fig? Is that what I know? Tenderly crushed by coconut pulp. Exotic cedar. That's what I smell. The cedar and caramel. I like it. I don't know if I love it, but I like it. Hmm. French kiss. That's a fun one to give away for a Valentine's gift. So if you're giving a warmer to someone, you know, keep it themed out. Valentine's Day is next month. So you could do French kiss with like the um, love warmer and give that as a gift to someone you love. Okay. I don't know what this is. It's orange in color. Or, I'm sorry, more yellowish. I have no clue. And it's not my skin. This is fun, though. This is a nice fruity kind of almost. But what kind of fruit is this? But it's also... <sighs> it's starting to come to me. Familiar, like something familiar. Mm. I don't know if it's a... Oh, I have... I cannot describe this one. I'm not good at describing these, aren't I? <laughs> okay. 
Tangelo. I should have guessed that one. Because I knew that was on the list. Um, a melange of sweet fruit and tangy citrus. I guess that's why I like it. There's some citrus in here. Lemon and apricot. Enhanced by fragrant lychee berry. I kind of like this. But it's funny. I think I this was one of the ones I smelled. And when I first smelled it, I wasn't crazy about it. Why am I smelling it? Can you hear me breathing? I feel like my nose is a little stuffy. I don't know. Alright. We're getting there. This is a greenish blue color. This is an... Oh, I think this is Ocean. I remember this one. This one was around in the first catalog that I... um When I joined Scentsy. So I think it's really cool now that I've been with Scentsy long enough to actually know some of these bring back my bar scents. This is Ocean, and Ocean is available in our laundry scents, and it's a popular one. Oh, I like this one. I'm going to have to try Ocean in laundry next. I've done Black Raspberry Vanilla. Yes, we have laundry products. Black Raspberry Vanilla. Quiver is my current favorite, um, but I have tried, um, I think those are the two, Coconut Cotton. That's in our regular catalog. Okay, this one's pink. I have no clue. It's a fun fruity smell. I don't love it. I don't hate it. What is it? It's called Flutter. And this is one of the five that Orville and Heidi brought back. Oh, Tingelo was one that Orville and Heidi brought back too. So this is the last of the five. Tingelo, Lux Vanilla, Sangria, Cranberry Bread, and now Flutter. Are the five bonus scents that they they threw in? Oh, I, I I think I like this one. I might buy this one. Flutter, flutter. The name is fun. The color's fun. I like this. I might give this one. This one's a high maybe. We have some left. We have like four left, five left. Okay. So this one's dark brown. No, this is purple. This has to be the grape, Grenada, yeah. Sun warms grape and pineapple with undertones of honeysuckle. I like honey, I smell the honeysuckle. Oh, I have to get this one. I didn't think I was going to like this one, but I do. It is also soda popish. It also smells like a purple grape lollipop, kind of. I like this one. I'm getting this one. I have to get a grape one. I'm going to have to get the banana ram one too now that I'm at it. Okay, so I'm probably going to get a six pack because I think I just decided to get the banana rama one. This is the Perez.Sensi.US man. If you're still watching this, thank you so much. So I kind of looked at the color, but I didn't look at the name. Oh, this is sweet. Zen Garden. I know Zen Garden. Oh, Zen Garden was around when I first joined Sensi as well. And it got discontinued, I believe, with that first catalog. Oh, I want this one. This is perfect for a bathroom. Oh, this is so good. This is so... There has to be something relaxing in there. Zen Garden. There has to be some lavender. And if there's not, let's see. A dewy sweet bloom of ripe honeydew, soft fresher, and water locust. Lotus. I smell lavender. I guess it was the fresher. I got confused. Oh, I like this one. This one's fun. Zen Garden. We have a Zen Rock. That makes a perfect gift. So, Zen Rock with Zen Garden. You have to get that warmer to match with this scent. So it's perfect. Three more. This one is brownish, I think. Reddish brown. Oh, I don't know what that is. I have no clue how to describe this. It's fruity-ish. I can smell this in a kitchen. A hallway. Black ruby. Black ruby is described as juicy plum. Black cherry and sparkling persimmon with untamed vanilla and hibiscus, a luminous deep fragrance. It does have a rich, but I do smell the plum now and the black cherry. I guess I'm not as good at describing this as I thought. I think I did better last time when I did this. Purplish. Oh my God. I have. This also reminds me of the hand soap that I'm not crazy about. So, is there almond in here? 
This one spells grapeish. I have no clue. Grape. Okay, black wild cherry. Wild black cherry. Okay, cherry. Got my cherry and grapes confused. Let's see. Oh, coffee smell. Oh, wait, I didn't describe the wild black cherry. Sorry. I'm jumping ahead. Wild black cherry is sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old fashioned black cherry soda. I have to re smell that again, real quick. See if it smells like a soda. I'm sorry, something about this reminds me of diapers. It's not powder. It's kind of like the diapers mixed in my trash. I don't know. That, I know that's horrible to say, right? <laughs> Man, that's so strange. Okay, so yeah. This one... It's called Coffee Tree, and I know there's a lot of coffee smell lovers out there. I mean, it doesn't matter. So I know people that don't like to drink coffee but love the smell of it. This is for you. Coffee Tree, bold and sophisticated. Wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. I love this. I won't get it. But it smells really good. Really, I want to drink this right now. All right, let's see. There's two more, I think. This one is brown. And I dropped it. I didn't want to drop any. Okay. Look at my Scentsy banner. This one is brown. Reddish brown. I smell cinnamon. Do we do this? This was Hemingway. I know this smell. Hemingway um, came back with one of the Bring Back My Bars since I started. And it's described as rich, ripe apples and warm woodsy accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. I could get down with that. Oh, it's time to get my daughter. Good thing we're on the last one. <laughs> this one is white. I have to smell my skin. I can't even think about what was left. I have no clue. I like this. I could relax with this. What the heck is in it, though? These smells are really complex, guys. I gotta say. I smell fruity. Or sweet? Something sweet. Okay. I don't know if it's floral. Okay, I can't even tell if it's... That's interesting. I got a phone call. Lavender Vanilla. Lavender vanilla is on my list, and I didn't recognize it. Oh, God. Oh, I like it, though. I'm getting that one. Lavender vanilla, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's described as what it is. <laughs> so, I got two vanillas, and these vanillas that I'm getting have the deluxe vanilla, and this lavender vanilla does not smell like the typical vanilla that you are familiar with. That is not the kind of vanilla these smells have. So, lavender vanilla is where? Oh, relaxing mix of... did I say something about relaxing? Relaxing mix of hillside lavender, vanilla bean, and... Dang it, I did smell something zesty. Or... I didn't want to say lemon again, but it's orange zest. And patchouli, I like patchouli and smell. Some people hate patchouli. So, if you hate patchouli, that's in here. <laughs> This is like the third sense with patchouli. I like. I don't even know what patchouli is. I'm guessing it's a flower. Oh, I like lavender vanilla, but what? So lavender vanilla beans. Okay. So there it is, guys. Bring back my bar. January 31st is the last day to order. You can buy three bars for $14. That saves you a dollar. Buy five, get one free. That's what we usually have in our combine and save section. Oh, excuse my nails. My daughter's in the hospital. I am so sorry for not being a little more ready. I like to be professional in my videos. And if that means having my nails done, that's what that means. So bring back my bar, guys. Hope you enjoyed um, my breakdown. 
You can also get all 25 fragrances for $105 and that will save you $20. So if you just want to buy wax for the year and all these sounded fairly good to you, give them a try. At best, maybe you can give a couple away as a gift. Um, so remember me around the holidays when it's time to buy gifts for people. Valentine's Day is coming up. Mother's Day is not far behind it. So, um... A lot of these scents are guy friendly so definitely um, remember me when it's time to get some gifts and again I just want to say thank you for watching this is way longer than I expected it to be this should not have been this long but you know what 25 cents to go through and um, a little chit chat here and there yeah, I guess this is a 35 minute video alright guys thank you so much uh, lizetteperez.sensi.us is my website um, if you want to join my team, January has a wonderful special for $49. You could get a smaller starter kit, which will include all the scents in the small testers versus the big testers. So, you know, um, so you have a visual. Um, the big testers are still available with the full size kit for $99. That includes a warmer and that includes all the business material you need to get started along with other fun products um, such as laundry, so, uh, laundry stuff and depending if you're getting the big kit or the small kit would depend if you're getting full size or sample sizes and um, just you know some wax and some other great things to try. So lizetteperez.sensi.us slash join if you want information on joining my team I would love to have you on team cents into dollars and um, if you have any questions just hit me up anytime okay lizetteperez.sensi.us thank you so much for supporting my sensi business and um, besitos to you